Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, this is to talk about um, Chrome OS Flex. A lot of people have been asking me questions and uh, I'll give my impressions and review of it. Keep in mind this is still a dev version so it's really not finished and actually Google does say that it could be unstable and have problems and a lot of you that um, have seen my video where I give the link on how to go through the steps and have this and install this on um, a USB thumb drive and boot from it, uh, I've been mentioning that you've been unable to run it on the PC you tried on it. Remember this, like I said, is brand new. There's still a lot of unsupported hardware. So it could be um, your PC could not be supported. There could be some hardware that's not supported. It could be supported halfway, meaning you might have it working, but it might not have any sound or it might not have, you know, all the, the, the things working. Your Wi-Fi might not be there. All of that together. Uh, it could be a mix of all of that. And the best uh, chances, your PC is totally compatible and everything works. In some cases, it works only partially. And of course, in some cases, it just doesn't work at all. So here's a little video. It's a video with a screenshot that I did on my Toshiba, eight-year-old Toshiba, running this operating system, which is kind of a Chrome OS. So it actually gives the feel and has the feel of turning your an old computer or your computer into a Chromebook. Google wants this to be twofold. Um, try out, you know, what Chromebooks feel like, and even let Enterprise try it and see if you can run and maybe have, um, you know, a Chromebook experience in the workplace that would work. It is limited for now. So this comes from a, a project that is called Cloud Ready. And it's actually a rebrand of Cloud Ready into Chrome OS Flex. It is limited in there are things you can do. There's no command line. Um, there's no Google Play services. So you won't have the Google Play Store. You can't install apps from the Google Play Store. There's these limits right now that we're not sure if these are going to be always like this or if at some point in time they could be added to the experience of Chrome OS Flex. My eight-year-old Toshiba, which is a Core i5 purchased somewhere in 2014-ish, maybe even 2013. I don't exactly remember when I got it. Uh, works great with it and has no issues. The install was crazy fast. It took not even five minutes for all of this to be installed and working ready. Um, it supports pretty much everything everything that I have in hardware seems to be detected it detected my phone it detected my printer I mean for me the experience is good but it can be uh, bad for some of you because it's still uh, in the dev channel but what's cool with this is you can try it by without having to install it so now I have installed it it's faster when it's installed of course uh, but you can actually just boot from the USB thumb drive that you create and this is going to be uh, you're going to be able to test it like that the requirements is a 64-bit um, CPU uh, at least 4 gigabytes of RAM and at least 16 gigabytes of disk storage for the install and um, of course there are some hardware that might not work well they have created a model list, the certified models that they call, um, if uh, you want to check the list. But overall, my experience, it feels good. It feels interesting. I would say that if they would add the capability for the Google Play Store, this would probably make me fully use that old 8-year-old PC as a Chromebook, as this is really good and, and would really, really be fun to have. The lack of a Google Play Store does play and uh, it is a negative side to it right now. Let's hope that this will be fixed eventually in the future. Extremely lightweight for people that uh, are asking about security. So it's a Chromebook. So basically security comes through 
uh, app updates that you get from the system. So from time to time, you'll have the apps that will, or the, the, um, the system that's going to say, well, you got an update. So if you want to update your uh, Chrome OS experience, uh, so here you see me going through different options. A lot of people are asking what you can do. Do you, can you have Office? You could technically have through Chrome Office apps on the web. That would work. And you can also use Google Docs, which I use and works very, you know, it works fine and is quite compatible with, um, you know, Office uh, documents. So that could also be an experience that you can try. It's already within there. There's a certain number of apps that are pre-installed, including the YouTube app and all of that. Remember that a Chromebook is kind of turning, simply turning your Chrome um, browser into a computer by doing stuff mostly online, basically. So everything is kind of cloud-driven with the system installed on your, on your computer. It's fast. It is noted that it can run on PCs that could be up to 13 years old, technically. So, you know, maybe that old 10-year-old PC that has dust, gathering dust somewhere uh, on a table in, in, in a drawer, uh, you can maybe, you know, take it out and try this and, and maybe even give life back to an old computer that just was unusable with anything else. It's very lightweight, like I say, and it's very, very simple to use, which could appeal to a lot of people. And it gives you a feel of a Chromebook. So maybe that could also... Um, kind of, you know, lean, have you lean towards a Chromebook eventually at some point. It's customizable with, you know, background pictures, wallpapers and stuff. Browser works well. Gmail, of course, available. And it has Zoom um, that is also in there. So it technically is a nice little operating system. Incomplete. Like I said, it could be a bad experience for some of you for now because it's not yet... Uh, fully compatible with everything and drivers are the main issues for a lot of the computers that you might want to use this on um, It works well as you see on my Toshiba uh, Eight-year-old Toshiba which uh, is uh, was running Windows 8 and Windows 10 for a long time and um, I think it could be a really cool replacement for the future a lot of people complaining about how you know It's, it's, it's so simplistic with it. You don't do nothing. This is exactly what people do pretty much not a lot of stuff. And so uh, a lot of people are under the impression that you need a big gun operating system like Windows or Linux or whatever to run um, a computer. Uh, the majority of people, this is enough because that's all they do. Go on the web, check email, and do very little else of, uh, on their PC. And of course, add the Google Play Store. I think this becomes pretty a pretty good and winning combination, honestly, for a uh, um, operating system for an old computer. It also is compatible with Macs. You've got an old Mac lying around doing nothing. How about um, you know taking that Mac PC and uh, trying it out? It will work on a Mac also. Uh, so this is uh, pretty cool as long as it's an Intel-based Mac. So uh, Chrome OS Flex, I um, I like it. Um, it's missing options, unfortunately. That I hope they add. But it could, uh, it, it's a good start for a uh, Chrome experience and a Chromebook experience on a uh, PC. And, you know, uh, pretty cool to turn an old computer that might not be doing anything anymore into a working PC thanks to this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos for Chrome OX Flex on an 8-year-old machine. Pretty cool experience.